What's up guys, Dark Dally here, and today we're running another strange experiment in Curveball Space Program. This probably has been done before, I don't know, but I wanted to take a stab at it my own way. The goal? To break the sound barrier on four wheels. I think in real life it's only actually been done once. I wanted to do it in this game. Now, I'm sure most people don't spend time like this on terrestrial endeavors in this game as I have, but I'm still new at the game and really just learning by experimentation. Lots of and lots of experimentation. Now, this time, unfortunately, safety measures were kind of a limited option as I had aerodynamics and limited weight high in my priority. Um, the other unfortunate consequence for my poor curveball test pilots is that because this vehicle sits only inches off the ground and does ultimately, well, it does ultimately run out of runway. The runway is just not very long. <laughs> All right. And uh, the car you're seeing now, well, this this was early stuff and in early, early days in the Tesla, I'll explain that. We'll move on to my, my second evolution and then the third evolution. We will be reaching the end of the runway in this video, I promise you. The idea actually started with this. The, here, here it is, a couple weeks ago. This is when I first ever tried, this is the first thing I ever built in Kerbal Space Program. Yes, thing would be the right word for it. I didn't know what I was doing at this time. I just wanted to go fast on wheels. The choice of wheels was very poor, and the control surfaces were bound to make it leave the track, which it did every single time. I know a little bit more about how stuff in the game works now, but I'm still figuring it out as I go. Here, however, I was basically just watching it fail as my brain ticked and I dwelled at times when I wasn't playing the game as to how I could improve upon it. I wanted to break the sound barrier with all four wheels firmly planted on the ground, but of course, then there's the issue of stopping it, but we'll get there. Right now, it, it's a matter of keeping it straight and keeping it you know, fast. The design, which I affectionately named the Batmobile because of its vague resemblance to the old Batmobile from the 80s. Okay, very vague, but anyway, um, this is, was the second evolution of the vehicle. And this time around, I used what testing would show are the best wheels for this kind of test. I've tried all the wheels and these work the best. This time around, instead of providing wings that would ultimately lift it off the runway, I was careful to angle the control surfaces upward, slowing the air over the top of the craft to keep it stuck on the tarmac. Now that part worked. It never left the ground. The only problem was, would, would be an ever-present pull to one side or another, which under the overpowered thrust drove it off the track every time before I could even hit 600 miles an hour. This iteration of the vehicle, uh, its top speed uh, that I captured was 560 miles an hour and that simply was not good enough as two-thirds the speed of sound i wasn't even getting there and i was only getting a couple hundred meters down the track i was falling short of my goal of mach 1 you know which okay so at sea level it's about 770 miles an hour so we'll just use that as a benchmark because we are right here at sea level we'll just assume it's a nice 70 degree day and low humidity and whatnot anyway it wasn't it just wasn't staying straight i tried many variations on the second iteration of the vehicle trying to add yaw stability with a variety of vertical fins in different configurations but uh, none really seemed to work there were a lot of issues with this machine and much of it came down to having to add more thrust as i added more weight and then trying to control the vehicle as it got bigger and heavier so it was back to the drawing board again Two-thirds the speed of sound wasn't good enough for me. I wasn't going to stop until I had busted it and hit the end of the runway still going straight. And that's what we're after today, guys. All right, so here we have the third iteration of the craft. You can see I've sized it down considerably. I've taken off the, uh, the lateral control surfaces. Um, this thing keeps downforce just fine, just the way it is. This, one, this is actually, this one is doing pretty good. It looks so, it looks so very simple. Uh, but when you look at the real life ones, they are pretty much just a tube with a fin on them. These are the best wheels I found. They have enough give that they won't break. I tried some of the wheels without suspension and they just snap off. These have just enough suspension they won't snap off. They allow it to compress down. It does not scrape the runway. That was the problem I had with the, uh, the second iteration was that the long nose was hitting the runway and causing it to break up. Um, so I've lengthened the wheelbase to as long as I can. These engines are not as powerful as the one I used in my last test, and that's why this test will go on. There are more iterations of this yet to come. I want to see if I can go faster. Now, let's go ahead and let's build in some safety protocols just real quick while I'm thinking about it. Let's build in. I have everything set for it. I haven't done it yet. This car actually will reach the end of the runway, and I will be able to safely rescue the Kerbal. I mean, 
if it gets to the end of the runway. So let's go ahead and make a, a quick little abort procedure here. There we have a very simple abort procedure. So let's go ahead and uh, well, I'll just show you what this uh, thing can do. Um, I, I don't want to ruin the surprise, so let's just go. Let's go for it, guys. Speed of sound, here we go. But I can do better than this. We will do better than this. All right, strange experiments. Okay, we're watching the speed right down there. I'll pause it. This thing tends to stay pretty straight. There we are, there we are. Come on, come on. There's the speed of sound right there. We just passed it, and... Okay, we're off the end of the runway. 380 meters a second. That translates to about 850 miles an hour. That's well over the speed of sound. I know, where's the sonic boom? Um, there isn't one. But there we have successfully, and that's the problem as we run out of runway. Now, the last iteration of this craft was actually hitting... It was hitting down near that speed before it veered off. It was hitting that speed at only a couple hundred meters, but it was too overpowered. Um, that's why we're going to continue to, I mean, I, I want to continue to develop this vehicle. There will be more in the future, but for now, we have done it. Let's see if we can abort and keep my Kerbal alive. My parachutes, oh, my parachutes did not deploy, but he survived somehow. Where is the rest of the craft? Did it splash down? Oh, it splashed down over there. All right, let's try that again. I think I, I think 380 uh, with this thrust, vert flight to launch. I think this is as fast as we're going to get. We're going full throttle off the bat. These engines work pretty well for this. Let's see if we can get a... See if there's a sonic boom if we zoom out, maybe. I don't know why the chutes aren't deploying. But, uh, there's no sonic boom. Let's do this one more time. And this time I'm going to watch the speed. I wasn't watching the speed that time. Let's do this. Um, let's go for it. I like how you can see, if you look at it closely, you can see all the moisture, like, gathering in front of the, uh, yeah, the surfaces of the plane. The, the, the craft, yeah, 380 meters a second. It, it's static, like, every time. That's exactly where... We're hitting. Why are my parachutes not working? I don't know. I think it's breaking them off. Doesn't matter. The curb bubble's still alive. He's still alive. Alright, guys. So that is kind of uh briefly the uh <laughs> that that's briefly the history of my faster than sound car. And uh Oh my wheels are still spinning. Look at that. Look how fast those wheels are still spinning. Can you guys see that? Look. <laughs> so we've already broken every land speed record in real life. Um, I want to go further, and I want to do other things. The next episode of Strange Experiments, trust me, is going to be something no one's thought of. It's pretty crazy. But here we are hitting 850 miles an hour in a perfect straight line. Okay, not so straight that time. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Strange experiments, 850 miles an hour in a straight line, and our Kerbal is floating safely back to terra firma. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Dark Dally. We will see you next time in Strange Experiments. And trust me again, you won't believe um, the idea I have next time. And then uh, after that, we'll continue the speed of sound. Um, can we hit Mach 2? Catch you guys later.